Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the thresholds or the flower. Thresholds, also known as flowers, hold a unique position in history, serving as indispensable tools in agriculture and formidable weapons in medieval warfare. This extensive examination aims to provide a thorough understanding of thresholds, tracing their origins, evolution and multifaceted roles in human civilization. Thresholds and Agriculture Origins and Evolution The origins of thresholds can be traced back to ancient agricultural practices, where early civilizations developed rudimentary methods for processing grain. Over time, these methods evolved, leading to the invention of specialised tools like the threshold, designed to streamline the laborious tasks of threshing. Before the advent of thresholds, ancient farmers employed various techniques to separate grains from husks and straw. Methods such as beating grains with sticks or trampling them underfoot were common practices, albeit inefficient and time-consuming. The development of the threshold marked a significant advancement in grain processing technology. By combining a swinging motion with a weighted striking head, the threshold revolutionised the threshing process enabling farmers to extract grains more efficiently and effectively. Components and construction. A typical threshold comprises two primary components, the swing or swepel and the beater or swingle. The swing, usually crafted from durable wood, serves as the handle for the farmer, providing a firm grip during operation. Attached to the swing is the beater, a shorter wooden stick connected via a flexible medium, such as rope, or leather. At one end of the beater rests a weighted head designed to deliver forceful blows to the grain pile. Threshing with a threshold involves a rhythmic swinging motion initiated by the farmer gripping the handle firmly. The farmer swings the threshold downward onto the harvested grain spread across the threshing floor. The impact of the beater dislodges the edible grains from their husks and straw, facilitating their separation and collection. The impact on agricultural practices. The introduction of the threshold revolutionised agricultural productivity, enabling farmers to thresh larger quantities of grain in less time. This increased efficiency had profound implications for food security and economic development, contributing to the growth and prosperity of agrarian societies. From Fields to Front Lines, a comprehensive exploration of medieval warfare. Thresholds, known as flowers in the context of warfare, represent a fascinating intersection between agricultural tools and weapons of war. This extensive examination aims to shed light on the formidable role of flowers in medieval warfare, tracing their evolution, tactics and impact on the battlefield. The weaponization of thresholds. The transition of thresholds from agricultural implements to weapons of war marked a significant innovation in medieval warfare. Recognising the effectiveness of the swinging motion and weighted striking head, military strategists adapted the threshold into a lethal melee weapon known as the flail. The design of the flail was tailored for combat, featuring a longer handle and a reinforced striking head compared to its agricultural counterpart. Crafted from durable materials such as wood and leather, flowers were meticulously constructed to withstand the rigours of battle. Flowers offered distinct tactical advantages on the battlefield. The swinging motion allowed warriors to generate tremendous force capable of bypassing enemy defences and inflicting devastating injuries on armoured opponents. The unpredictable movements of the flower made it difficult for adversaries to anticipate or counter, giving wielders a decisive advantage in close quarter combat. Deployment and tactics. Flowers were prominently used in medieval warfare, particularly during the European Middle Ages. Wielded by foot soldiers and knights alike, flowers were deployed in a variety of combat scenarios, from pitch battles to sieges and skirmishes, their versatility and effectiveness made them a valuable asset on the battlefield, capable of turning the tide of a conflict. Combat Scenarios In battle, 
flail-wielding warriors employed a variety of tactics to maximise the effectiveness of their weapon. Swinging their flails in wide arcs, they targeted vulnerable areas of their opponent's armour, such as joints and gaps. The threshold was also a blunt force weapon. The chaotic and frenetic nature of flail combat often created confusion and disarray among enemy ranks, sowing chaos and demoralising their adversaries. The legacy of flails in medieval warfare is undeniable. While they eventually fell out of favour with the advent of firearms and more advanced weaponry, flails left an indelible mark on the annals of military history. Their distinctive design and combat effectiveness secured them a lasting legacy, inspiring fascination and admiration among historians and enthusiasts alike. Flails represent a compelling chapter in the history of medieval warfare, from their origins as agricultural tools to their prominent role on the battlefields of Europe. Flowers exemplify the adaptability and ingenuity of military technology. Whether wielded by foot soldiers or mounted knights, flowers were instrumental in shaping the outcomes of countless battles and campaigns, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to captivate scholars and enthusiasts to this day. In the tumultuous theatre of medieval warfare, where chaos and carnage reigned supreme, certain weapons emerged as symbols of singular prowess and ferocity. Among these stood the threshold, its deadly dance evoking both fear and fascination on the battlefield. This exploration delves into the remarkable role of thresholds in single combat where individual skill and valour were put to the ultimate test. The unyielding flower, a weapon forged in fury. The threshold, known as the flail in martial context, was a weapon steeped in history and legend, born from the crucible of agricultural necessity. It underwent a transformation into a weapon of singular destruction. Crafted with a longer handle and a heavier striking head, the threshold became a fearsome instrument of war, its swinging motion capable of delivering devastating blows to even the most heavily armoured adversaries. In the hands of a skilled combatant, The threshold was more than a mere weapon. It was an extension of the warrior's will. Masters of the flail honed their craft through years of training and experience. Mastering its unpredictable movements and harnessing its raw power to deadly effect. Clad in armour and armed with their trusty flails, these warriors stood as formidable adversaries on the field of battle. As I've said before, the warriors adapted the threshold for combat by modifying its dimensions and reinforcing its structure, and the longer handle provided increased reach while the weighted striking head was honed to deliver bone-crushing blows to armoured adversaries. These alterations transformed the threshold into a formidable weapon capable of turning the tide of battle in an instant. A dance of death. Engagement in single combat. In the heat of single combat, where the clash of arms echoed like thunder and the fate of nations hung in the balance, the true prowess of the flower was revealed. Wielding their weapons with lethal precision, warriors engaged in a deadly dance. Each movement a calculated risk, each strike a potential death blow. The clang of metal against metal, the grunts of exertion, the cries of pain. These were the symphony of single combat where victory was measured in blood and steel. In single combat, the tactics of flower wielding warriors varied depending on their opponent and the circumstances of the engagement. Some favoured aggressive, relentless attacks, seeking to overwhelm their adversaries with a barrage of blows. Others adopted a more cautious approach, biding their time and waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Whatever their strategy, one thing remained constant, the ferocity and determination of those who wielded the flail. The threshold's impact. The legacy of the threshold in medieval warfare is undeniable. Its unique design and devastating effectiveness made it a weapon of choice for warriors across Europe. Tales of valour and heroism of warriors who wielded the threshold with unmatched skill and ferocity echo through the annals of history, immortalising its place in the pantheon of legendary weapons. An enduring legacy. Though the age of knights and chivalry has long since passed, The legacy of the flail endures. Tales of valour and heroism of warriors who faced impossible odds and emerged victorious 
are woven into the fabric of history. The flower remains a symbol of courage and tenacity, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to face their foes in single combat. Conclusion In the annals of martial history, few weapons have captured the imagination quite like the flail. Its unique design, deadly efficiency and storied legacy have ensured its place among the pantheon of legendary weapons. Whether wielded on the battlefield or in the arena of single combat, the flail stands as a testament to the courage, skill and sheer ferocity of those who brandished it in the pursuit of glory. Thank you for watching this episode. If you liked what you saw, please tune in next time. Thank you.